Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Isaiah Edwards. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. $180,000 have been awarded to the Southern Maryland Center for Family Advocacy. The Hollywood-based agency has been tasked with helping victims of domestic abuse in St. Mary's County and requested more funds to help compensate new staff that has joined the agency in an effort to expand services. Expanded services will include an abuser intervention program, 24-7 hotline, crisis services, community education, staff certification for the state sexual assault program, and transitional housing for victims and families. On Wednesday, St. Mary's County School Board member Jim Davis questioned the need for educational equity in the St. Mary's school system. Karen Bailey, school board chair, said, what was missing from the presentation was a definition of equity lens. The educational equity policy would require that an equity lens be used in all staff recruiting, hiring, retention, and promotion decisions, and require that an equity lens be used in reviews of all staff, including administrators, teacher, and instructional teacher candidates. The State Judicial Nomination Committee has passed on three names to Governor Larry Hogan to appoint a second judge to the St. Mary's District Court. Governor Hogan could nominate Senior Assistant State's Attorney Buffy Giddens, Private Practice Attorney and former State House of Representatives member Daniel Aaron Martin Slade, or former Prosecutor James Tanavage. The new judgeship position was approved by the Maryland General Assembly earlier this year after the Maryland Court of Appeals requested seven new judgeship positions in the state. District Court judges are selected by the Governor and confirmed by the State Senate into 10-year terms. Geshe Jampa and Shogao Shangpo, Tibetan Buddhist monks from Jurepong Losling Monastery, work on a mandala sand painting Wednesday inside St. Mary's College of Maryland's Daugherty Palmer Commons. The monks have laid millions of grains of sand into place this week to form the spiritual image. Enterprise staff photo by Kristen Griffith. As rain poured down on the artificial turf field, at St. Mary's Riken High School Tuesday night, the Knights were locked in at in a competitive opening half against the Heights in a Washington Catholic Athletic Conference boys soccer contest. Knights head coach J.J. Rayley said, overall, we had a pretty good start and not a bad performance. The Heights scored the first goal of the match just before halftime in the second half. The Heights scored three more goals to lead 4-0. On Wednesday afternoon, the cross-country meet for track was held at Oak Ridge Park. The head coach, Jimmy Ball, for the North Point Eagles, was wondering where his team would wind up because so many teams would come in with tight finishes. However, when it came time to announce the winner of the meet, they counted down every team from last until his team was the only team that hadn't been called yet. However, this win for the Eagles didn't come easy because they tied with Chopticon. However, the tiebreaker held for the two teams was broken by the Eagles, six runner coming before chopped gone. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Isaiah Edwards. Signing off.